Uh, hello viewers, uh, we discussed in the previous videos about the diagnosis of coronary artery disease and the treatment options of the coronary artery disease and uh, the CABG surgery or the coronary bypass surgery, you know, heart bypass surgery and uh, the, then about the healing process, you know, and prognosis and uh, follow-up care. Uh, but today we will uh, talk about uh, what are the complications of the CABG surgery. Well. Overall mortality related to the CABG is 3 to 4 percent and uh, during and shortly after the uh, surgery, you know, heart attacks occur in 5 to 10 percent of the patients and uh, are the main cause of death. And about 5 percent of the patients require exploration because of the bleeding. And this second surgery increases the risk of uh, chest infection and uh, lung complications. Uh, the stroke occurs in 1 to 2 percent primarily in elderly patients and the mortality and uh, the complications uh, increased with uh, uh, age you know if you are older than 70 years or the poor heart muscle function you know or the disease uh, obstruct, obstructing the left uh, main coronary artery diabetes or chronic lung disease or the chronic kidney failure so this increases the risk of uh, complications. And mortality may be higher in women and primarily due to their advanced age at the time of uh, surgery and the smaller coronary arteries. And the women develop coronary artery disease about 10 years later than men because of the hormonal, uh, hormonal protection, you know, while they still regularly menstruate. So although in women with the risk factors of coronary disease, especially the smoking, you know, and elevated uh, lipids, you know, cholesterol, you know, diabetes and especially for the development of the coronary artery disease at a young age uh, is very real you know and the women are generally of smaller uh, uh, stature than men you know and uh, with smaller coronary arteries and these small uh, arteries uh, make uh, uh, coronary artery bypass grafting surgery uh, technically more difficult and prolonged you know and the uh, smaller vessels are uh, also decrease uh, both short and long-term graft functions so these are the possible complications in women you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information uh, but uh, i just forget to tell you the long-term results after the uh, cabg surgery you know now a very small percentage of the vein grafts uh, may become blocked uh, within the first two weeks after the cabg surgery due to uh, blood clotting, you know, and the blood clots from uh, form in the uh, grafts usually because of the small arteries beyond uh, the insertion site of the graft, uh, causing the sluggish blood runoff, you know. And uh, another 10% of the vein grafts close off uh, between two weeks and uh, one year after the surgery. And the use of aspirin uh, to thin the blood has been shown uh, uh, to reduce these uh, later. Uh, uh, closings by 50 percent uh, grafts uh, become narrowed after the first five years and cells uh, stick to the inner lining and multiply so causing uh, formation of the scar tissue which is known as uh, intimal fibrosis and uh, actual atherosclerosis now after 10 years only two to three percent uh, two or three of the vein grafts are open and a half of these have at least moderate narrowings you know so the internal memory grafts have uh, a much higher 10-year uh, rate of uh, remaining open and uh, this difference is uh, 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 longevity has caused a shift in the surgical practices towards uh, greater use of the internal memory uh, and other arteries to as opposed to the veins of for the bypass surgery you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you and goodbye.